Why don't you take the jump? Why? I know it's fear-based because that's the only reason that you wouldn't. And when we're standing at the ledge, ready to take the jump, we think about failing. We think about like disappointing. We think about embarrassment. We think about the lack of confidence that we might obtain from like not feeling strong or whatever. And uh, it sucks. Like I don't like feeling like that. I don't like standing on the ledge and and, and having all those things through my mind. Standing on the ledge, that's stressful. If I'm at the edge of a diving board, if I want to be comfortable, I take five steps back and I chill there. If I'm standing on the ledge ready to jump, that's the most stressful part. That's when all those thoughts are in your mind. So why do we stand there? And that's kind of where my life was for a long time. And I had to get rid of it because you don't have to jump. Nobody's telling you to be like one of those. I'm not telling you what to be. I'm saying if you are ready for that jump, then, then recognize that there's a process. You might not jump today. You might not jump tomorrow, five months from now. But if you are expecting yourself to jump, then lose that fear and allow yourself to prepare for the jump. So you're ready to take it. And understand that failure is not a destination. You are never done. There's no reason why you can't try again. Nobody's stopping you from that. You don't have to give up. Failure is not the end game. Like you can just keep trying and trying and experiencing and, and feeling and do and living your journey. Life is not linear. We think of it that way because birth and death, but it's ever expanding. I'm, I'm ever growing. I'm getting immense and bigger and bigger. It's not some weird line. Every time I come back to something, I have a bigger perspective of it, and that's beautiful. I don't, I don't think any of us want to live in stress. Anyways, y'all see what it is. Go listen to 33 BBM Studios, Play the Goddess.